Hello everyone. Here we are with uh, all of our our mixed colors. In the uh, first section of the video, I explained how I did my mixing. So I have five dirty cup pours that I'm going to do on this side of the canvas. And I'm going to try, and probably for a quarter of the canvas, I'm going to try and do a um, just a, a swipe actually, just to get maybe some cells on this side. Probably get some cells on this side too, but I would really like to make it like a, a half and half painting or a three quarter and a quarter. I'm just going to put these aside so that we can get started. So obviously I have um, applied some paint uh, to this uh, piece. It's, this is actually just a piece of plywood and I made uh, a frame underneath as well, around it, about an inch an inch out, just like one of my other videos where I, uh, I describe uh, how to make um, my painting services with the frames. So you can refer to that if you like. So this is a very large one. This one is 48 by 48. And as I mentioned, I'd like to do a three-quarter um, pour with a, a quarter swipe on the other side. So obviously, I'm going to start by I'm going to kind of divide the surface here. I'm just going to use one of these pallets here to move this around. So this is uh, three Dixie cups here, or three um, solo cups that I've put down so far onto this part of the canvas. And they were all very full. I want to make sure that you get the edges, of course. perfect because I'm going to be putting a pour over this anyway. I just want to make sure that at least my edges are done. And I have my, uh, my compressor plugged in just in case I need to use it. I'll blow some paint around while I'm making this painting. I'll determine that as I go along. Bring some of this to this side. Now I'm going to go ahead 
pour on this side. Lifting here as I go along. Not too much of it. You might hear some airplanes in the background. We've got our air show happening in London, Ontario today, so you might hear some planes go by. So far, I'm just going to start spreading this around a little. I'm definitely going to get my blower out for the rest of this area. So I'm just using a compressor now with, with air, no paint, and this uh, little gadget here. I'm just going to be blowing some air around. Just kind of very lightly. some of this other space, right? Splashes are kind of nice as well, so... too much about the splashes, looks great. Okay, this is looking really good actually. I'm going to do a little bit 
more up here. too much more to this. I'm liking what that looks like so far. It's good. Okay. So now I'm going to actually pour some more white on this side. Because as I mentioned, I'm just going to be doing a swipe over here. Okay. I'm just kind of randomly going to be spreading this around in a particular order at all. some green as well. Just randomly. Okay, so I guess we'll start with that. I'm just going to be using a spatula for this wipe. Nothing too fancy. Looking awesome so far. Can't go wrong with primary colors, you really can't. So I'm barely applying any pressure here. Just a very gentle swipe. cells that form in those areas. Just gonna let that remain. Looks pretty cool.
this will look great in just about any room because it has all those primary colors. about and does it for that. Yeah, this is good. I'm going to try and remove a little bit of this white paint. I think that I might do a little bit of blowing in here actually. kind of fun, this painting. Or this piece of art, I should say. It's still a painting, but more, I guess.
think that's it. I added a bit of fun to it for sure. Actually, the whole painting is quite fun looking. So I'm just going to kind of uh, go around the edges and make sure that I that everything is covered. Now this is going to take a little while to dry, I'm sure. when it's done, that's for sure, when it's dry. And I really like that it has uh, different, uh, different levels to it, you know, it just shows a lot of uh, texture that way, especially once it's dried. So there'll be some, some elevated, you know, pores on here. This section is going to be nice and low. It should be really cool when it's done, actually. Yeah, I like the way this one turned out. Pretty cool. And I almost used all of the paint that I had, actually. I have about uh, a half a solo cup of white paint left, and I have maybe two ounces of the green, two ounces of the red left, and about three ounces of the blue left, so um, yeah, I've got a little bit left left to do uh, some record records maybe, some vinyls, and yeah, so this is about it. I like this, the way this turned out, looks good. I'm just going to give you a couple of close-ups here, if I can, with this one. Can't move it around too, too much, but yeah. Looking cool with the combination of the swipe and just the regular pour with the cells on the other side. It's really cool. Okay, so I will be taking pictures of this in about five days when it's completely dry. Uh, most likely maybe on a wall so you can see what it look like, looks like when it's done. So in the meantime, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you again soon.